BGB3111 and a calibrutinib are both what I consider to be second generation BTK inhibitors. Um, some interesting differences between the two of them in the sense that BGB3111 represents, you know, out of all the BTK inhibitors, sort of the one that has the largest area under the curve. So we really see sustained serum levels with that far more than we do um, with a calibrutinib. Now, calibrutinib is the other extreme, and ibrutinib is right in the middle. So with a calibrutinib, it has a very, very short half-life, namely in about 30 minutes. It's only because of the covalent bond that it's able to actually have a 24-hour coverage that we actually see any benefit. So what's interesting about these two is whether or not there will be certain advantages to one over the other. So both of these actually have less EGFR inhibition than ibrutinib does, which I believe affords a benefit in terms of diminished risk of diarrhea, rash, and some of the other side effects. With regard to actually efficacy, I do wonder if there might be differences between a calibrutinib, ibrutinib, and BGB3111, depending upon uh, the tumor types. So there's some preliminary evidence for BG, BGB3111 in Waldenstrom's that looks really quite impressive. And so it'll be interesting to see whether or not these data are borne out by subsequent uh, clinical trials.